In this video, we are going to make a uh, one-bit register. Uh, register is a sequential circuit uh, used for storing data in computers. Um, here is the um, internal design of a uh, one-bit register. Um, inputs are uh, clock, enable, and D. Uh, clock is a synchronizer of uh, all the uh, transactions in a CPU. Um, enable signal is used for uh, enabling writing a new value to the register. As long as enable is zero, um, the value of the register will uh, remain the same. Uh, D signal is the new value. When enable is one, a new value, which is specified through D signal, is written into the register. Uh, as we can see in here, register is made of a uh, D flip-flop. Uh, plus um, some uh, logic for uh, enable signal to control the uh, write and hold to the value of the uh, register. Um, we will start with um, base, uh, base of the circuit, which is a uh, D flip flop uh, without uh, reset and uh, Q not signals. Um, so let's just start with that and then uh, we continue with uh, adding the logic for uh, enable. Now we have uh, all the uh, internal design of the circuit. Let's uh, drive some inputs. Um, let's connect the clock to the clock generator. And then uh, we need two binary switch for enable and D. So start the simulation. Um, the way that we test this circuit is uh, we enable the show value and uh, we uh, start by uh, writing some uh, new value to the register. That can be done by uh, enabling, uh, setting the enable to one and then setting D to some initial value. Let's say we set D to one. Then we are uh, writing one into the register. So as we can see in here, the value of register is now one. Um, to verify the correctness of the circuit, um, we uh, have to verify that as long as enable is zero, uh, register will hold on to whatever value it has. So if the value is one and enable is zero, doesn't matter what is the value of D, the register should hold on to the um, existing value. Uh, that's the first thing to verify. The second thing to verify is to verify that when enable is set to one, uh, the value of D can be written and, and uh, update the value of the register. So if I set the value of uh, D to zero here, that should update the value of register as we can see here. Okay, so uh, that suggests the register is um, correct and uh, is as expected. So I'm going to stop the simulation and save this circuit as a um, one bit register. Okay, um, the next step is to create a symbol from uh, this uh, circuit. Uh, we are going to uh, use one bit register in a, a 
larger design so we have to have a symbol from one bit register so we can instantiate in a larger design so i'll get a copy of this file and call this uh, one bit register symbol and the difference between symbol and uh, original circuits is that we replace all the drivers with ports we have uh, three input ports and one output port some meaningful names for the ports okay and save this file and then uh, start creating a symbol based on this circuit file new device symbol Attaching the circuits to the symbol and then automatically generating an interface for okay and then we can save this in uh, our existing CPU project library. Uh, creating a symbol is done. You can close all the, all the circuits and symbols and save all file. And the next step is to uh, create the test bench and verify the symbol is working as expected. Uh, we test the symbol in the same way that we tested the initial circuit um, attaching a clock and then uh, setting enable to one and setting d to one so initializing the value of register and then testing that uh, register can hold on to the value by setting enable to zero and then switching d to zero and making sure that this is not updating the value of register that's the first test. The second test is uh, verifying that we can actually update the value of register. So if we set the value of enable to 1, um, now the gate is open, we can write into the register, and any value for D will become the value for register. Okay, that confirms the circuit is working as expected, and we can save this last uh, file as a uh, Test bench, and this is the end of the video.